Welcome back, True Seeker. Another undeniable example of how the federal government works by the numbers every single day, contriving their propaganda and agendas in a simple code of letters and numbers, which comes from Jewish mysticism known as Kabbalah, which is practiced by the Jesuits who were formed in part by Jews who converted to Catholicism. And if you're not familiar with the Jesuits, they run Washington, D.C. They've been in D.C. longer than the federal government's been there. Again, every single day you can prove that every last thing done by the government, and I mean every last thing, I'm not exaggerating, I mean every single day, I'm not exaggerating, you can prove when you know the code how they operate. And I want to take you back to 1994 with the assault weapons ban, which Joe Biden wants to bring back. Of course, Joe Biden had his crime bill in 94. But notice, in the language of Gematria, gun control equals 139 as well as 49, like Parkland is 139 and 49. And understand, words like Washington and America and Scottish are all 49. The Scottish Rite of Freemasonry was created by the Jesuit order. But notice also assault weapons ban and Second Amendment equal 256. Now the numbers to pay attention to are 139 and 256. Talked about this pattern a million times before. But look at this. The assault weapons ban of 94 happened on September 13th. The majority of the world writes that date 13 slash 9 like 139, right? Like 139, like gun control, like Parkland. And September 13th is the 256th day of the year. Like assault weapons ban 256. Do you see how perfectly coordinated this is? This is what the federal government does every single day. This is why we were able to tell you that Donald Trump was going to win the election in 2016 and Biden was going to win it in 2020. Because these people perform rituals and numbers that you can see right through when you know the code. If you have not read my first book... It has a massive chapter on shootings by the numbers. And one of the last shootings covered in that book is the Parkland shooting, which has a lot of parallels with Sandy Hook. But notice what day it happened in Parkland, Florida. Valentine's Day, which can be written 14 slash 2 like 142. Parkland, Florida, when you run the alphabetic order in reverse, is 263, which is the 56th prime. And remember, Sandy Hook was established in 1956. The shooting happened in 2012, 56 years later. This is coming on the three-year anniversary of Parkland. When you write out three as a word, it equals 56, like Washington, D.C., like Society of Jesus, who are the Jesuits. And again, just look at this recent propaganda right here. You know, supposedly, Patrick Dragon who was a first responder at the Sandy Hook shooting, supposedly he just died from coronavirus. And notice how he's posing here next to a license plate where everything's blocked out but the 56. Notice Patrick Dragon, Society of Jesus, Gematria Overlap, Sandy Hook established in 56, the shooting 56 years later. Remember, the Jesuits operate in 112 nations. They said Adam Lanza weighed 112 pounds, a totally needless detail, and that's because Sandy Hook equals 112, and his initials AL, A's the first letter, L's the 12th, 112. His birthday's April 22nd, the 112th day of the year. The Dune Blaine gun shooting happened March 13th, 96, a date with 112 numerology. It got gun rights taken away in the UK. Again, the Jesuits started over in Europe before they came over and created this nation, which is really who created this nation. And it's been a game the whole time. You know, the rights that we supposedly had, which it feels like we never really had, you know, they slowly take more and more of them away. I'm sure it'll go on until the point where we have absolutely nothing. But um, with regards to this guy dying from coronavirus, again, COVID vaccine, coronavirus, this has been a million 56 rituals with coronavirus. And um, also... In light of his name being Patrick Dragon, totally believable, 2012 was the year of the dragon, the year of Sandy Hook. So realize, you have to learn the language these people operate by to see through how they contrive their propaganda because it is the definitive evidence for the agendas and how they are waged. And I want to close out by telling people to go post on Brian at High Impact Flick's latest video. Funny, they got him at 560,000 subs. He's made a few videos with Gematria in the title, and all those videos have been bashing me because he doesn't like my personality. But notice ever since Biden lost the election, which he didn't know was going to happen until he lost because he doesn't understand how rigged the system is, 
But he's been spending almost all of his time attacking QAnon, which he also doesn't like. So why is he spending so much energy attacking something he doesn't like, which is totally worthless because QAnon's a psychological operation? Why isn't he putting out real knowledge and information, which is gematria, which is what I teach? Not to mention, Brian, you have two copies of this book. I sent you one, and so did Kathy. So you have two copies of my book, and you can't even bring it up? Again, for people who don't know, my book teaches you this code, how the federal government works by it undeniably, from 9-11 to coronavirus and a million other things. Sandy Hook's in there. Stoneman Douglas is in there. But again, spam Brian and tell him to cover this topic and the reason why Brian goes, I don't know why he wants me to cover Gematria. Just the guy just plays dumb. The reason why is because YouTube has allowed you to grow and be a big channel. You have reach. When I went to the Washington you know, gathering at the Capitol on April 19th in 2020, there were two different people who came up to me in the crowd who handed out your flyer that you printed out, which had a bunch of bullshit-ass information on it that now looks stupid. Imagine if you'd put Gematria on that flyer. You would have reached a lot of people with something that matters, that holds up and, you know, stands the test of time. So, and not just Brian, just all these truth channels that ignore this knowledge, you know? Brian, I'm pretty sure that Brian is only here to sell shit. Every video starts with an advertisement and ends with an advertisement. Here, buy this, buy this. But supposedly, he cares about the Second Amendment. This is a real big topic for Brian. It's his favorite topic. So if he, can't, if he cannot share what they've done with gun control in the past and something as undeniable as this, and realize I have a million more examples of gun control in 139 rituals. This isn't the only one. There's a million of these. But I just want people to understand how they do it. And again, Parkland, Florida, 142, like the shooting on Valentine's Day. 263, the 56th prime, that number of the Jesuits who run the show. You know, Anthony Fauci's another 56, Mr. Coronavirus, 56. By the way, you guys, it's also the day leaving 109 days left in the year, shootings 109. And remember when I first wrote uh, Letters and Numbers, my first book with the massive chapter, I originally made the chapter 109 pages on mass shootings by the numbers, and that's because there's been so many mass shootings by the numbers. Huge chapter. Again, my first book is nearly 800 pages long. It's got books within books. But I had to end up making the chapter a little bit longer after I was done with it at 109 pages, and I did that on purpose to put it back in their face because, again, they code this 109 number in their mass shootings all the time. But... Um, I had to make it a little bit longer because when I was done writing the chapter, the Stoneman Douglas shooting happened in Parkland, Florida, you know, with David Hogg, whose dad's in the FBI. And David Hogg went on TV and said he's going to outlive all the conspiracy theorists, which to me felt like a bit of a threat. Have you seen YouTube censoring him? Oh, no. But I've been deleted 19 times. I know Brian even lost a channel. Brian finally lost a channel recently. He lost his backup channel. I think he had 300 and some, th 300 and some thousand subscribers. But notice, Brian has all this time for all this crap that doesn't add up to nothing, but he just can't talk about gematria. He just so, I guess he just doesn't know his priorities, man. And it seems like the whole truth community doesn't know their priorities. This is the knowledge that proves the agendas, you know. <laughs> you got to be one dummy to dismiss how they did this back in 94, back when the 322nd bill, 322nd bill of the year, 322, the number of skull and bones, that was the crime bill that year by Joe Biden. And again, for people who don't know, the reason we knew Biden was going to become the president is because he's number 46. The word Catholic equals 46. There's 46 books in the Catholic Old Testament. JFK, the only Catholic president to date, was killed at age 46, and the election was exactly 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday. And don't forget his son, Bo Biden, died at age 46. And there's a lot more to say about all this stuff. But again, learn the code. See through what's really going on. Till next time, Truth Seeker.